What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode, a review episode. Yes, I pulled the trigger and I bought a barrel sauna from Almost Heaven Saunas. So I went with, uh, I believe it's called the Watoga, Wataga, Watoga barrel, two to four person uh, barrel sauna. So this one fits four people max. Four people, I think it would be kind of tight. I'll show you guys. And then two people would be like comfortably sitting. I didn't need nothing like too big. Um, it's just me and if someone comes over then they can do some sauna with me. So let's go check this out. Super uh, muggy outside, but here it is, two to four person barrel sauna. Um, I did do a little walkway, didn't quite finish it. I'm gonna put some shrubs in, get it looking good and stuff. But anyways, the barrel sauna. So this is it. I'm gonna give you just a little walk around. And then inside, let's see if I get this lighting right. Okay, so I didn't, so this is part one of this video. Um, I didn't get the heater put in yet. Um, I'm still waiting on the electrician, but see what I mean by four people, it'll be tight. So the heater will come out to like right here and then say right here. Two people would be really tight. I mean, two people on this side, two people where I'm sitting right now. You could sit there, it'd just be like your knees would probably be touching. But if it was just uh, two people, super comfortable. So you got almost having sauna right here. You got a little air vent if it gets too hot. Um, this, these are add-ons, so you would have to get this separately. Um, thermometer so pretty much the barrel sauna comes with the sauna itself and uh, the heater and then I got this just for like a drinks water whatnot and then this the other bench also there's a drain hole right there so apparently they used to give a plug and uh, they don't do that anymore so if you get one you don't see a plug it's because they don't include it anymore that ladle for water, that's also extra. As you can see, it rained, it's been raining here a lot lately, so these are not like waterproof. So if you get one and then you see it's leaking water, that's gonna happen. In the door, you get a cedar inside and then a metal one. It has a little magnet to just. I think it's solid, like the hardware on this metal. So, if you don't want any rain in, inside the sauna, there's a raincoat, which like clips on, and then you can just put it on the top portion of it, so the rain won't come in. Um, also, this is not included. You would have to like get this extra, it's just a towel rack. Um, okay, let's talk about how I put this together. So, that's the base, those are plastic. So once you have the bottom leveled, you level those, make sure it's leveled, and then you put the first from here to here. You put those on, and then you nail them to that base. So once that's good and leveled, you really don't have to level it anymore. So, I mean, you can level it through as you go on, which is probably a good idea. So after you get that, you would put the front and the back on. They come in three pieces. It's just the middle and then the sides, you screw them on. 
and then after you just pretty much go and put these wood pieces all around um they just i don't know what they're called they like have grooves and then you have to take a mallet and make sure it's tightly in and it has a groove here as well so put it on and pop it down and then you nail every other one after that's done you would put the metal bands i had an issue where so this you see how this is flush this one's supposed to be like that too but for some reason i'd like it, it wasn't i think it was like some kind of defect so i'm gonna call them and see what i can do about that okay biggest issue they they don't really mention in the uh directions directions are really good there's like a bunch of pictures and stuff so once you get that base down and you put the front and back on start like each side put one here put one here put one like rotate from each side but then when you come you don't want to finish like if you're going up this way this way you don't want to finish at the top you want to finish over here somewhere on the side so you can kind of like hammer this down and then get uh get that last finishing piece in because it's not going to be like a perfect finish see right here there's two pieces here so i initially ended here and i could not finish it like it wasn't like I don't know it wasn't going in and this and that so finish on the side and then they give you a bunch of different sizes so whatever fits you would put it in and then secure it in that's very important because it took me like I was doing this in like 95 degrees sunny and then I was just like super overwhelmed because it was not working so then I saw this video and then they're saying finish on the side and then it worked I finished in like two seconds so um, but yeah, so this is, let me go over this again because this is important. Uh, two to four person. So say, say the heater comes right there, right? You don't want to sit way too close to the heater. But this is the space you have. So if I sit down one person, I would have just a little bit for another person to sit, which they would probably be touching my knees. So keep that in mind, if you're gonna have a lot of people, this is probably not the one you want to go with. You want to go to the four to six, which is probably uh, definitely longer. Um, but if it's just you and somebody else, this is plenty of uh, space. So yeah, so this is the inside again. Second video, I'm gonna put the heater in and then the LED lights. I have all the mood lights coming. Um, to get connected and I'll show you guys how that looks like but yeah there also is two little vents right there just to get some airflow it's already getting kind of hot in here um, I'm 5'8 and I'm standing directly in the middle and then I have like two that much so I can I can stand like if you go to the side obviously you can hit your head so if you're like six foot, you're probably gonna be like this. But five eight, maybe five nine, you could stand in here, no problem. I mean, you're not gonna be standing really. You're gonna be sitting down and relaxing, right? <laughs> Last thing. So you're gonna have to nail every other one once you finish from the bottom. They give you these skinny little nails, and every time I don't know if I had the wrong hammer or I wasn't nailing these things right, it would just bend. And it was getting super irritating. So if you have a nail gun. That'll make life easy. It took me four hours to do this by myself. It was possible. I mean, the hardest part was the back and the front because once you put it together and put it on the base, it's heavy. It's probably like 200 pounds. So what I did, I just rolled it. I rolled it to the sauna and then kind of like popped it up. So if you have two people, you could probably bust this out in two hours, two hours solid. And then, and then, <clears throat> So I got delivered in my driveway and I was just bringing some at a time. So before you start this, have an afternoon set, bring everything where you're going to put the sauna, lay everything out and you could, you probably can finish this in an hour and a half, to be honest, not too hard. Hour and a half, two people get the job done. Call a buddy, call somebody and just get it done. Cause four hours, one person, I mean, that was, that was a long time. And then, yeah. All right guys, that's it for part one of the sauna, almost heaven saunas review. So the biggest thing to take away from this video is 
finishing on one side. So don't finish at the top, finish on the side. So this way you can um, use that rubber mallet to like push all the wood down and get your last few uh, pieces in tightly. So again, the rain, it will leak in here um, and it'll probably discolor from the rain. So if you don't want that, get that rain coat. Uh, Cause after you get it, you're gonna want all these other accessories like me. So like this, like this is very unnecessary, but I got it. The thermometer, probably you want. Um, ladle, you see what I mean? It's like you want to keep getting stuff. Uh, but yeah, I used this. So I had this set up for about a week, and then I couldn't get an electrician out for a while. So it's been hot outside, and I came in here and it was like 100 degrees in here. So I just I used it. I mean, I was in here 100 degrees right when I got in. Five minutes in, I was like sweating. Yeah, so it definitely works, even without the heater on. So I'm thinking once the heater's on, I'm gonna be baking. Um, if you guys have just enjoyed this video, smash that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for part two. Uh, if you're looking into saunas or just just wanna see some fitness videos, health videos, all kinds of videos.